It's funny. It's a funny set though, you're coming out. You should have come last week. You should have been here then. We had some guy drive up the slip road with a bloody diesel pump hanging at the back of his car. Almost dragged it halfway down the friggin' slip road. Should have seen it. Good job I was around to sell him some cover. I got it back on the road next to the road. Excuse me, love. I need to share one of these. Obviously not. Don't put it in the oven. Why? Because it's a cauliflower cheese grill. If it was for the oven, it'd be a cauliflower cheese oven. That's why. Yes. What time are you going out? Who are you going out with? I don't like that. that no. I'm sure he's on drugs, that Jason. Asthma? I've heard that before. Are you? Well, be careful when you're out. There's yobbles knocking about. Hey, look at Gene Aspinall's lad. He only went out for a bottle of milk, now he gets fed through a straw. Yeah, be careful. And give me three rings when you get there. I'm not fussing. I'll tell you, you might run your own business, but if you get yourself thrown out of a marriage here and you live with me, you follow my rules. All right, ta-ra. He's a bugger. Now, metros, metros are different. Now, metros, it's the gearbox, right? But you're never bored with a Ford. Ford cars, you're never bored with a Ford. That could be cool status, you see, that's their worst problem. And it could be a million and one things. Dark plugs, flat battery, needle in a haystack, will's your oyster. You see, now taking this up pretty. Not that anybody would mind. You see, the, the, see, joyriders can be very choosy. I think they should hang them all. Bring back nationals, bring it. I fucked up because I've got snot coming down my nose Cuts. from this mortician's wife. Yeah, Channel 4, just here for today. Yeah, Gavin Alrod won't like this, will he? You never know, though, Caroline, I might get the cover of Radio Times. Look at that moor, surely passed the driving test. Should have record it top 40. And they did a live, yeah. An hotel, that's got a second series. Oh, I tell you, this would be great, this. Crosswits with Tom O'Connor. There's Zester, Kilroy. Brilliant. Never know, I might end up on covering Marie Claire, eh? Yeah, yeah. That was Ryan Paris and Dolce Vita, a hit from July 83, Ryan's only hit that he had. It's Charlie FM, it's coming at you, it's coming in your ears. If you want to come down, come down, don't, don't be shy, it's not stopped us, the sun's got his hat on, I'm Paul Leroy, and to come down, and here we go with another, here we go. Cheap fucking Korean rubbish. Hang on. Look at this. Nice so she sends me, isn't it? Send young Matthew, he can deal with it. He's used to dealing with the troubles coming from Northern Ireland. It's not a bad impression, is it? I'm from Coleraine, the only troubles I ever saw was when my dad fell off the wall and broke his ankle. Look at this, he's giving me a tray to help control the blast. Oh, look! Look, it's a friggin' punching nun. Look at that! <laughs> can I keep this? <laughs> Brightening up now. It's pulling with this weather, it can't make his bloody mind up. Excuse me, sir. Can I interest you? Don't worry about the different channel for. Can I interest you some road cover at all? Honestly, I'm alright, thank you very you much. You sure, sir? Yes, thank you. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Don't deny it, Sandra. Don't deny it. Mark saw your car parked outside his flat all night. Mark, it was your car. It was. Maestro Van den Plas beige with, with that wooden trimming. It was. He's got your edge anyway. You bounce it right, you slag. Well, I, I was warned about you, wasn't I? I was warned about you from the start. You're not to be trusted. You've had me paranoid ever since Arteriza's wedding. Doing your fucking erotic dancing. He was a priest, for Christ's sake. It wasn't a Lombarder anyway. I've got it on long play. You're not to be trusted. What about that fella in the video shop, eh? Hey, him with the eyebrows, him as well. Three days we had cliffhanger out. We never got charged. I'm telling you, you are, you're a scrubber. You went to Chippy the other week with, with my Uncle Dennis and you were an hour and a half. I only ordered a chicken omelette. Well, it's a good job he's bent, isn't it? It's a good job he's bent. He is, he plays the fucking cello. What? Hang on a minute. He's still there? He was, he... Who said? With my Uncle Dennis? Oh, you're a scrubber, you. He wears fatty. What are you doing? I'm gonna kill you, do you understand? 
Hey, you better start running. I'm gonna kill you, you little scrubber. Do you hear me? Yeah, you. Start running. That's fantastic, Aaron. Brilliant news. Really? Oh, thanks, Aaron. I owe you one for this. Oh, that's great. Th thanks very much, Aaron. OK, thanks. Don't forget to book me in for Tuesday. OK, thanks, Aaron. Bye. Valium oh, that's fantastic news. Aaron Kershaw with a bit of valuable information. Apparently, we're going to have a celebrity coming into services this afternoon. No, I'm going to kill you. You're a little scrubber. Scrubber. That's what you are. Hey, your name was written on the bog walls in the Bantry, but I let it go. I should have known better, shouldn't I? It was a setup. It was a bloody setup. The RAC wanted me out of the picture, right? 14 years, I gave them everything. I, I, you see, I don't even drink. I've never drank. Beer's not my cup of tea. So come on, and you too can join the Rocksteady crew. Come on, oh, Polaroid. That's it, son. Check that white ass. Here you are. Give it away, free chocolate bars. One, too many. She was 15 and a half. She was 15 and a half. What, six months? There's a new headline, there's a new sensation. Digital. Digital. Everybody's talking about the situation. Archie probably resented the fact that we couldn't have children, didn't you, Denise, eh? Because I've got, I got, I've got something wrong with my sperm. I had too much licorice as a child. <laughs> you know what? Eh. Excuse me, excuse me, love. Can you interest you in some bitch? Uh, they're all the same, aren't they? Well, another one bites the dust, as Freddie would say. You missed a bit, Brian. I, I know. Sandra, I love you. Can't we start again? I don't care whose it is, I don't care what it is, it's floating. Fuck off. Oh, you're a tall man, hard man, out in the street. Gotta be a big man someday. You got money on your face, a big disgrace kicking your car all over the place. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will, we will rock you. Buddy, I told my hard man, we will rock you. Buddy, rock, rock you, buddy. What are these on? These are me. You're not coming here with that thing, I'm telling you, and I'm not being knowing. OK, all those in favour of letting the television people in this evening to film say aye. Aye. OK, moving straight on. Uh, we've got representation today from When to Kill. If you want to come up, Janice and Susanna want to take the floor, please. Uh, going to give us a brief chat about um, hygiene. <coughs> think we're rat catchers, but contrary to popular belief, we only marry them. <laughs> um, Janice, as she passes out the pamphlets, I would just like to talk to you all That's briefly. All right. I'm not stretching anymore. Talk to you all briefly about blockages. Now, we do know a lot of clubs have problems with blockages, especially in the genturinals. This is caused by bacterial growth, which is brought on by uric salt, which contaminates the atmosphere. Uric salt? Please. Um, we do know that a lot of clubs use channel blocks, or pineapple chunks, as they are more commonly known, but these cause blockages and smells. Now, we... We supply cubes that come in a variety of scents. We've got Calvin Klein's Obsession and also Hugo Boss. Mm. Now, we're talking hygienic and cheap sanitary protection. 
Sanitary disposal is a different kettle of fish altogether. We provide a fully sealed unit which we move in its entirety. I do know that a lot of clubs offer a bin bag facility, but that, we feel, does not promote feminine hygiene. Also on feminine hygiene, tampons and towel machines. Now, as a lady myself, I do know that it is embarrassing when your tampons in your other bag. So it's always handy to have them on. I mean on the wall. Order, please. We provide easy to use urinal mats at cheap rates. They can also help prevent the problem of backsplash. Now, is there any questions? Yeah, where have you parked your van? If I could just go back to the seat wipe situation for a minute. Um, there is an update in the leaflets. Now, it is a growing problem, as most women know. Sitting can cause infection and other discomforts. Mother always taught us to hover. It is nice to know we are being cared for in the clubs and we will get there eventually. Anyway, me and Janice will be in corner for the next half hour or so if you've got any questions. So, thank you very much and enjoy your buffet. Thank you very much. Thanks. <coughs> Oh, I've had some shit over the years, you know. Let's got some of these. Who books the acts? Les books them. They go off audience response. They don't get higher than a seven, they don't come back. I don't know what he got, but he didn't come back, did he? No. He was a hypnotist. Oswell Owen, bit. Oh, I'll tell you. Would you watch that, please, will you? Thank you very much. Oswell Owen, bit. Hey, he was good, though, mind. You could get an old audience under like that. Not joking. Everybody. I'm talking everybody. I'm not just talking audience, I'm talking bar staff, clock room, everybody. He were brilliant. Do you remember that night he got banana lads? Oh, on? Jesus, yes. Two big lads, ex paras aren't they? <laughs> oh, um, big lads. Big double lads. big banana lads. And he had them under like listen that. This, I'm not this, joking. This, this, this. He got this old watch out on a chain and he had them, oh, you are <laughs> sleepy. He had them doing all sorts. <laughs> Dropped his watch, said, fuck me. Well, you've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Took 12 of us, didn't it? Pull them lads off. Uh, yeah. oh. Oh. I've got the envelope, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the results here. The judges have asked me to pass on that it's been a very, very difficult decision tonight, as you might expect. There's a clear winner. There's a clear winner tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But this is the interesting thing. Every other act has scored equal number of points. That's amazing. That's unique. And so everybody else has come second. That's fantastic. So what I'm saying is there's no losers tonight. But the winners of Talent Trek 99. Sponsored by Charlie FM, where the listener comes first. Winning a prize of £1,000 and a guaranteed spot on Charlie FM's Christmas Roadshow. The winners are... Park Avenue! Yeah. Come on! Take it out! Mark Park! Come on, Cheryl Love! Come on! Come on, Love! Cheryl Avenue! Mark Park! Together they are! Park Avenue! Sensational! Wonderful act! You'll see more of these two in the future. What? Thanks very much, everybody! All right, Mark. Thanks very much, lad. Mark Park from Cheryl Avenue. Excellent. Cheryl does a kiss, love. How about that? Fantastic. They're all fantastic. Yeah. Sorry. Go round again, lads. There's a taxi for our greaves. The taxi for our greaves. At the back. OK. The winners, Tantra 99 at Park Avenue. Let's hear it for the runners up. Let's hear it for everybody tonight. Lead them off, Mark. Lead them off. Lead them off. Fantastic. That's wonderful. You've been fantastic for supporting us. I've been Jerry St. Clair. I'm your comfort here every cabaret night. I don't forget. Don't forget, uh, every Wednesday I'm here for 50-50 dancing, every other Thursday line dancing and cabaret nights on your Saturdays. Be nice to see you then. All, all that remains for me to say is have a safe journey home. Good night, God bless. And remember this simple message. Every lose... Every lose a win. When the dream begins, in time you'll see, faith is the key, and everybody knows the rest of the words, but I don't, cos I just made it up.
Are we filming now? Can I tell my joke? How do you get a room full of old people to shout bollocks? Shout bingo. Oh, we're on telly. Oh. Hey, we've not been on telly since we're on it, it's a knockout. Oh, that's right. We got covered in suds, remember that? Oh, ah, that were heroin. Oh. What's got 90 balls and screws all women? That one's fucking oil in. Oh, yeah. Well, let's say that you're one number away from winning the jackpot and you're waiting for, uh, let's say, a six and a nine, when suddenly Frank Sinatra walks into the room and offers to make mad, passionate love to you. Which would you choose? Frank Sinatra's dead. dead. She's dead. There's no comparison. I'd say, no, I'm sorry, Frank. Thanks for the offer of sex, but I'd much rather have the 69. Too right. <laughs> I hate this job. I've had some real... I've, I worked in an harvester. I hate this job. I used When I first started, I used to try and be nice to me, you know, but not anymore. It's all changed now. They're just evil. There's something about the game. It's like they've been brainwashed, it's like they've been sucked into one of them religious cults, you know, they have in America. When they get in, they just change. They become like animals, swearing, lying, fighting. I've seen grown women dragging each other around by their hair over a 20-piece lot token, right? I've had, we had one woman in here. She collapsed, they took her to hospital, did some tests on her. She woke up, discharged herself, and was back here at night in time for National. Look at these people. It's criminal. I tell you, this place needs a bloody good shake-up. Look at these doors. These shouldn't be open. These fire doors should be closed. I tell you, the management's already on a sticky wicket as far as visible fire exits are concerned. I tell you, hey Marjorie, you all right? This, look at this, this is, shouldn't be here. They don't, they don't care because they don't know the risk that they're taking. You see? Move that. Move that, eh? Fire hazard. Why? Fire hazard, move it. Why is that a fire hazard? Someone comes out of there, son, there's a fire, they fall. They all come out after them, they get crushed to death in the ensuing stampede. What's st what stampede? I feel I can't even walk. Don't kick that. That's there for a reason. That's not. Move it, or I'll move you. You've got your limbs. You're blessed. These people aren't. Think on. Move it. It's a job, you know, like any other. I think I feel appreciated. I do work as part of an organisation. Um, I'm part of the machine. It's the fire industry, one of the cogs. I entered the building, you! Smoke kills in seconds, fire kills in minutes. Thanks very much, thanks for standing. Um, Japan, where was I? Help, help, my mummy's on fire. Thanks, yes. Went towards the building, the chip pan was there. What do we do with the chip pan fire? Any suggestions? What do we do, Yvonne? Put up on the chip pan fire. Water. Water? Worst case scenario. Don't put water on the chip. You put water on the chip on fire. Woof. The whole house will go up. What on the old place will go up? Woof. Don't put on a no on the chip on fire. What do you want to do? Is it a wet tea towel or a tea cloth? If you're in the workplace, one of these little devils. CO2. It's black, and it'll have you in control of the situation in less than 30 seconds. It's got a discharge time of 14 to 20 seconds, and it's not for pissing about with. You might think it's funny to cover one of your mates in foam, but you won't be laughing when he or she swallows it and the lungs explode. You! Smoke kills in seconds, fire kills in minutes. Very good. Something wrong with your legs? Yeah. Everybody, smoke kills in seconds, fire kills in minutes. I believe you've got to shock them, you know. I like to get them involved as well. It helps with the learning skills. You know, what I'll do is I'll... I'll call upon them at any time throughout the lecture and they better have the answers all over beside them. <laughs> so if you have to break the glass in case of an emergency, make sure you give it a good powerful whack. Nothing half-hearted, give it a right good belt. That's what... <laughs> it... We've got an evacuation on our hands. Sorry, if you need to, please, evacuate the building. I'm sorry, this way, please. Um. Assembling the car park, it's a test. Assembling the park, it's a test, this. Quickly! It's all right, man, I'll get Doing. I'm baking a cake. What does it look like? He's changing his prices. 
Because he reckons he got more money on this estate. Well, they have. Sod them, it's only fair, and it's double on the videos and all. Ice cream. Ice cream. I love the smell of raspberry in the morning. The longer I stay in this flat, the weaker I get. And the longer Whoppy sits in his van, the stronger he gets. This is the dawn of a new era for ice cream, heralding not just a new century, but a warning. Throughout the land, charlatans masquerading as ice cream traders are fo foist, fist, selling, selling, selling their wit words on the unsuspecting public. I provide the very best in traditional Devonshire scoop, soft scoop, and ice cream for a brighter millennium. I think millenniums, not, how many L's in millennium, Darren? What? I'm Sean. I'm Chris. We are LiveSec, concert security providing peace of mind for many international artists, all the greats. Dave Bowie did his Glass Spider tour. Every night he blew me off. Blew you away. So that's cameras and recording equipment to Suite 21. And no food and no beverages unless it's on proven medical grounds. Sean. Thanks, Chris. Do you know what the biggest enemy is in this business? Public enemy number one, any ideas? Terrorists. Terrorist? This is a terrorist, love. That's a terrorist. That's, sorry, sorry. Tell him, Chris. Flash photography. Right. Come on, lads. We all want to get home tonight. Kelly! Come on, Kelly, lad. Get a wriggle on. We want to go home. Fucking wasted time, that lad. Can't F. Sorry about that. Now, if you do find yourselves backstage, do not attempt to handle any of the artist's equipment. They have roadies for those tasks. Your security don't touch. They may have a lucky tambourine, guitar, anything. All right, it's not your job. Sean. Thanks very much, Chris. Now, if I could just up the tempo a bit to explosives, simply bombs. Now, if you get alerted to a mysterious package, tell your supervisor straight away. Time saves lives. Don't try to handle the situation by yourselves and don't run out onto the concourse shouting, I think I found the a bomb. bomb. Right, it'll, it'll, it'll cause it one just thing, instant panic. You're laughing. It's funny. You know, we've seen it happen in the past, haven't we? Many, many, many times. times. A young lad I knew tried to be the hero, a young steward trying to be the hero. He's now currently dead. Right? You're laughing as well. You won't be laughing on your arms and legs to the other side of the room, will you? Hey, tell your supervisor they'll QQC the situation quickly, calmly, quietly. Now, do you have to provide your own first aid box? No, 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 it's all part of the uniform, but it, it is our responsibility to take care of it. I knew this lad once and he, um, he lost it. He got it nicked. Uh, he thought he'd go to a fancy dress party as a St John's at, at ambulance minute, right? And he goes and leaves it in the kitchen, comes back, it's gone. Right, you know, I mean, that's the price you pay for a lack of imagination. That's what I told him, you know. I mean, after that, he started trying to use a bloody action man lunchbox, didn't he? And as soon as the boss found out, that was it. Is he no longer in the service? No, no, he, uh, he works in insurance now, that lad. Yeah. I think he drives a Mazda. Yeah. My name is Matthew Kelly, um, not the... And this is my first night as a steward at the Manchester Arena. I'm a Scorpio and I only do this so I can see the concerts for free. Technically, I'm an actor. Um, I was a Burns victim and casualty, series two. No, I'm sorry, you can't take that in. You can't bring food in the arena, I'm sorry about that. Well, I've just bought it. I'm, I'm sorry, but you can't bring food in the arena. It says in the back of your ticket, you can't bring it in. Look, Mohammed. I bought food in for Celine Dion. She needs it. Look, I'm sorry, you can't bring food in the arena. All I can do is put a ticket on it and put it in Suite 21. You can pick it up after the show. Paul Pizza. It's not that. I'm sorry, I'm Welcome to the Leonard Show. My name is Leonard, um, and tonight I'm going to be receiving a special award for being the oldest paper boy in the, in, in the country. Tonight, God bless. Thank you for your hospitality, sociability, and sincerity. Cut.
Sorted all out for us. God bless you. The sun will be turned to darkness. That's the eclipse that yesterday. And the, and the moon to blood. Hello, what are you listening to? You lovely children. Oh, you took face with your bag then, be careful. It's all right, she'll forgive you. All right, yeah. Go and get an ironing board. Good luck, cockers, have a good day. God bless you. Have a nice day, want to see you what? Look at that, he's doing splits. Hey, he's blessed, isn't he? I used to be able to do them. All that I am John in love, all that I do. All that I ever have, I offer now to you. <coughs> me. People do not pick frig. Figs, I said figs then. Denounce the ways of the foolish king, for he offers nothing but empty promises of salvation. That's me finished. I'm going to go and have a look round shops now. God bless y'all. God's last name is not Dan. There you go. So what's it been like today for you? you I've been... only just turned up now. Oh, you're only going like to start yeah. now. Right. Just going to start now. I did a bit and I've just come back and going to start again now. All right. Nice and sunny, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. No rain. Mm. No rain. It's a good day for it. It's a good day for it. So shall we pray before you go? Would you like me to pray or not? No, it's all right. I'll just crack on with it, Flowey. All right, all right. Nice to meet you. You too, God bless Look you. Look after yourself. You too. Where are you going now? I'm just going to meet my wife on the corner there. I'm just going to get a, to get a card at the Christian bookshop. All round on, on, yeah. on things, yeah. yeah. All right, bless you. Take care. Look after yourself, cockers. Bye-bye. All right. Jesus H. Christ. I've always been bad with me, Art. I've got no revenge, you know, like Jack Duckworth. He's got them too. But I don't let it stop me, though, cockers. Hey, I'm fit as a fiddle, love me. I tell you, and many a good tune can be played on an old fiddle, providing your strings don't break. Hey, tell you, don't don't die with any fun in the bank. That's my motto. Live your life. Hey, that's my advice. This card, someone sent me this card years ago. Said it reminded him of me, not the horse. The best inside. Sorry. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, so long as you ever can. And that's what I try to do. It's the only poem I've ever been able to learn, apart from my friend Billy had a 10 foot willy and he showed it to the girl next door. She thought it was a snake, so she hit it with a rake and now it's only five foot four. <laughs> that's still very big though for me. My name is Mark Park and that means one thing, talent and charisma. Because of the documentary, I've now got the world in the palm of my hands. This is the big one. I've got what it takes. Let's see if you think, if if you think that I, if you, I've got what it. Let's see if you, I've got what it takes. Let's see if you think that. As I reach for the stars. That light's burning my face now. Can you turn it off? It's strange being back. How much it's changed. The, that's where I used to live there. 
number 17. That's where I was born. Look at how small it is. Old times, happy times, you know. All this used to be my old stomping ground, all this. All these houses here. Hang on. No, it wasn't that. That's not it, that's not it, it's round here. Hang on. It's up here, actually. It's not that at all. Can... This is where I lived. This is where I was born. Is that an off licence? It was. Hang on. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, it was round here. I was born round here. This is where I lived. Round in this area. That's where I was born there. That's 11. 17. Seven. I'm going the wrong way. This is going back to three. There's three. I should be going the other way. Hang on. We'll find it. How much tape have you got? We can find it. We'll find it. We will find it. I'll find it today. We'll find where I live. I've no idea where we are now. Hang on. You... Oh, piss, you can't even go up there. What? Oh, Christ. Go round, go round! Get out of here. He shouldn't even... He's too young to be driving that. Anyway, look at him. At least 17. Yeah, well, we've been up there. Around the course of my way and go down there. But these are dead ends. We've been over there. These are all dead ends. How do I get up to this point? Down there. Couldn't come back and live here, though. Not now. Could you go back to where you used to live? Uh, I still live there. Can't go back. That's it, you see, you can't go back. You still live there? Yeah. Well, then you can. But I can't. It is Hampstead. It's where? Hampstead. Yeah, my uncle li lives in the Midlands. When you come back here and look at this, what do you think about what you have now? I value it more than, I, than, I, than what I had when I was here. I value everything that I've got now because I know that I've worked damn hard to get it. I knew that one day I'd get it and I'm, I'm, I deserve what I've got now because I struggled. Christ, I struggled. And these people struggle, but they don't struggle enough. I think you've got to struggle. And I've struggled more than these people have struggled. That's why I've got what I've got and that's where I am where I am. What made you different from them? I had a dream. Like Dr. Martin Luther King, I suppose. He had a dream. You need dreams. You've got to have a dream. How, how else are you going to have a, have a dream come true? When you were living here, did yeah. you know where you'd end up? Oh, yeah. I always knew. I always knew that one day, you know, I'd be, where I'd be, I'd be back here. I wouldn't, I'd be back here, but I wouldn't be here. I mean, I'd be here, but I wouldn't be, miss, would I am? Do you know what I mean? No. I mean, I'd be back here, but I, would, I wouldn't I would be here as I used to be here. I'd be back here as a different me. Not the me that's, not this me, that the different me that was the first me that was here. This is the new me that's here now. That's why I'm back here as the new me. <laughs> There's been a lot of nasty talk floating around about me and Cheryl. And I'd like to quash those rumours right here and now and say for the record that our decision to split was amicable. It was amicable. Was it a difficult decision? It was the hardest decision that I've ever had to make. It was... She was more than a woman, you see. She was, she was my soulmate. People forget this. She was my friend. Nine years we grafted together in the clubs and people forget that. You know, we, we, what we had was what I used to call P.U.M., pure, unadulterated magic. And we had that from day one, it was instantaneous. And losing that, losing Cheryl. How did that make you feel? It wasn't, it wasn't easy. It was like, the only, the only thing that I can ever attribute it to was, is my favorite film, The Wild Geese. Have you ever seen The Wild Geese? The mercenaries, in, yeah, you, the, yes. Do you remember the bit at the end where they're running after the plane? Richard Harris is running after the plane. The plane's going to take off without him. Remember that bit? And Roger Moore's hanging out of the plane. He's got a gun and he says to him, all these Africans are chasing him, and he says, shoot me, shoot me, John. And his best friend with tears in his eyes has to shoot him because if he doesn't, these Africans will kill him and they'll eat him alive. And he says, shoot me. And he pulls the trigger and he shoots him. And that, that's, what it, that would, that's what it was like losing Cheryl. That's what it was like. It, I, it, no, it, it wasn't 
it wasn't it was Richard Burton, wasn't it? It was Richard Burton. Roger Moore was flying the plane. Richard Burton. Right, OK, says Alan and Mark. Mark, nice to meet you. Welcome to uh, the studios here. Hope you like it. Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah. Have a good journey over? Yeah. Did you have a good journey over? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And was it a long flight? Or do you yeah. have enough drinks and all that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. really know, but yeah. isn't your sister <laughs> Shirley Bassey? But, <laughs> yeah. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's uh, raining outside, the weather's mm. awful oh. over here, but it's not like that over there, is it? No. A lot no. nice and... Sun. Uh, there's lots of sun, I bet there's lots of it, yeah. I've never been to South Africa. No, I've been to... Um, Dubai. Uh, no, no. Uh, um, Skiathos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of... We know it works. <laughs> no, we spend <laughs> spare. No, no, I've got the cups and everything. Yeah. Yeah. The drinks and all that kind of thing. Do you want more? And the thing, we'll, we'll go mm. and do the song in there and then bring and sing in the microphone. Do you have microphones in South Africa? Do you have no, electricity? We have bamboo. Yeah, no. And then... <laughs> <laughs> the studios are lovely, aren't they? The firm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a really nice, nice studio. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Who are your musical influences? I've always been passionate about black music. That Rural, ethnic, soulful sound, the sound of the streets. Aswad, uh, UB40. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's card. I, like many others, found faith in the future through African tears.
That's a hit. That's a hit. That. I put my mother in a home because they can give the kind of round-the-clock attention that I could never give her. What about your father? My father? We lost my father in 95. I still find it very, very painful to talk about. He was watching the Lord Mayor's parade in the town and he fell under the wheels of a float. The, the ironic thing was that it was a Green Cross Code float. The press had a field day, which was, it ruined Dave Prowse's career and that was a shame because he wasn't even there. We, we all rushed to the hospital to see my father, but it was too late, he'd gone. And the painful thing for me is to have somebody you love taken away from you by something travelling at four miles an hour. I just can't... People say you must have had time to move out of the way, but unless you're in that position, you can't say. I, I prefer to think that the fall must have stunned him. Rotation. Playback. <laughs> Faster, Jim. Hello everybody, welcome. Everybody fine today? Sorry about the weather couldn't be a bit better. So you've not brought the good weather with you. Uh, my name's Mark Park, I'm here to open this supermarket today. I have a new album out on a Monday in shops, Homegrown, on sale from Monday, featuring such hits as um, Angels and some new songs, African Tears and Christmas 2000 and a Christmas song on there. But, uh, sorry about that. Further ado, I'd like to declare this brand new supermarket formally open. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming. Bye, the album. He was almost selfish. Always had to be the centre of attention. I remember he, he ruined the school nativity. He was like, he was the innkeeper. And he changed the lines, he only had one line. And that was uh, no room at the inn. He offered him on sweet with full English. You can't have lived the Bible. Only our Mark could upstage the Son of God. It's Christmas time, there's no need to be afraid Cause the world is now ready, the plans have been made He'll be bringing salvation, he'll be bringing us joy for every man Coming down your chimney for the two thousandth time. 